Hey. I got your low main. Oh, yes. Yeah? Where's your mother? She's in the back with Emma. All right. She put her hand on my knee and she was uh, looking at me like she wanted to. She hit on me. You know. What did you do? I, I, I just kept calling her mom. I said, Thanks, mom. Uh, it's nice to see you too, mom. I'm really glad you birthed me, mom. <laughs> You are who you are. I am a father, a husband, a Catholic. I know it because I am it. I never had to think about it. But there is no reason to be unhappy with a perfectly good marriage. I don't have what you have. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't you think we had rough periods? You want to go talk to a priest? I'm not a Catholic anymore. Well, there's your problem right there. How do you know? How do you always know what my problem is? Do I do that to you? Did I march in here and say, she's going in a home if you don't like it, go talk to a priest? I listened to you, Dad. I asked you what you wanted, and I fought like hell to get it for you because you matter to me. What you want matters to me. Why don't I matter to you? Mom was a feminist, for Christ's sake. Why didn't anyone ever ask me what I wanted? Honey, we did ask you what you wanted. You said you couldn't wait to be a mother. I'm sorry. I ought to be here more often. You're here plenty. You got family, you got girls, you got a husband, you got a job. You live halfway across the country, for Christ's sake. We're fine. Marion down the hall is helpful. She takes mom on poker night and whatnot. And, yeah, the two of them. A couple of peas in a pod. Both battier than hell. Well, you, you take great care of her. But it's got to be hard on you. Oh, honey. Your mother was always a pain in the ass. Getting her Irish up. Stomping around, all red in the face, over God knows what. There's no bells and whistles for it. Love is commitment. Better or worse, sickness and health, death do you part. That is the promise. She's going to get worse, Dad. Just gonna forget everything. <sighs> She's my girl, bit. You can't take my girl away from me. Drink your protein drink, mm. sweetheart. Meet my, my boyfriend, Mr. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need anything, honey? She no, doesn't thanks. need anything. I'm Drink fine, your. Mom. Protein oh, drink. Protein. Ugh. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's just like a chocolate malt. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know a chocolate malt if it bit you in the hiney. Yeah. Because I, I was a fountain girl. You know, I was a good fountain girl. And, uh, in, in, uh, and boy. And boy, yeah. Um, my, my, um, my father, consequently, works on the trains and, uh, He's a, he's a, uh, engineer. engineer, that's right. And he's an engineer, and he would get off the train and he would bring me chocolate malt. Yeah. Oh boy, because I was sick. Yeah, I had, uh, he had polio. 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 And then I just, well, that's all I did all day was drink those uh, ch chocolate malts. And uh, consequently, I got fat. Dad. Dad. What? She was very fat. Yeah, I was. I was very, very fat. 
And then uh, I was uh, I was a housewife. Was you were not. No, you were a career woman, Ruth. You were two-time administrator of the year. Holy.